up, everyone. Today, I want to share with you the most simple and straightforward method to profit from China's rising stock market, even though you may know little about Chinese companies. At the beginning of this year, while people were still wondering whether the Chinese stock market would continue to bottom out in 2019, with Chairman Yi's fresh appointment to the CSRC, the Shanghai Composite Index has risen more than 600 points in a matter of only three months. But many investors are depressed to find out that even though the market has risen in general, the stocks or actively managed funds they bought have not risen much or may even have fallen. So if the market is so good, why can't the stocks we choose rise as well? After all, we may have spent a lot of time analyzing and picking these stocks. So what should we buy? The answer for a lot of people is index funds. Why? Here are some data to share with you. Take CSI 300 ETF as an example. The CSI 300 is a capitalization weighted stock market index designed to replicate the performance of top 300 stocks traded in the Shanghai and Shenzhen stock exchanges. It was considered as a blue chip index for mainland China stock exchanges, similar to S&P 500. So far this year, it has risen 28% as of March 30th, compared with more than 3,500 stocks in the same period, it ranks in the top 30% and outperforms most stocks. Compared with more than 1,000 actively managed equity funds, it ranks in the top 10%. It is no wonder that people feel that the index is rising while their own stocks or actively managed funds are not performing that well. So why is this happening? This makes it necessary to introduce the characteristics of index funds. The first characteristic of index funds is the high position and exposure which is also the main reason for this phenomenon. Fund contracts generally stipulate that more than 90% of the index funds are invested in tracking the target index. And for actively managed funds, because of the judgment of the fund managers, is not necessarily fully in line with the line of the market. So when the market goes up, Index funds tend to rise faster than other types of funds with lower market exposure. Another feature is the low turnover rate. For index funds, there is generally a change of hands only twice in a year, every six months, when the components of the index are transferred in or out. The index fund begin to change hands. If the turnover rate is low, the management fees will also be very low, which can save a lot of transaction costs and management costs. And that would relatively improve the level of investor return. In addition, index funds also use diversified investment to avoid the risk of stock selection. Black swan events have occurred frequently in recent years. If investors choose such stocks, there's no doubt that uh, there will be heavy losses. But the use of diversified investment can reduce the impact of such events on the general returns. Finally, for the index fund, due to the use of passive management, 
who is the fund manager will not have much impact uh, on the performance. So investors will no longer have to worry about uh, choosing the right fund manager or the replacement of uh, fund managers will negatively affect the performance. And that's why I recommend you looking into the index fund. And if you want to be lazy and passive, that is the best way to profit from a rising Chinese stock market.